We're back. Hi. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Living with the Dead, episode 16, 17. Oh. I should probably know that before we start. Look did what you again. just did again. Bell grabbed the earring again right off the bat. I, that well, and there goes the camera in and out. That has not happened since last week oh, when she my did goodness. earrings coming out. No. The earring comes out. She broke the earring. <laughs> Why am I laughing? She's terrible. <laughs> Look at how she's laughing? laughing. Because she's laughing. Look at her laughing. Hi. Look at her like, next I'll roll my eyes back in my <laughs> head and they'll just stay there for... Oh my God. I, hi, I'm Patty. Hi, I'm Sheena. And we are Living with the Dead. And we're at wearelivingwiththedead.com. And in just days, we're going to start our tour, Antiques Go Show, here in Los Angeles. Yes. Where you can come and meet Belle, the 103-year-old haunted doll. Who is a troublemaker and who has done everything this week, including throwing Patty off of our event page. Yes, yes. We have a Facebook event page for those of you on Facebook. Yep. Um, it's under Antiques we, Go Show. If you type it in, it's the first thing that will come up. Yeah. And Go Show one where Antiques Go Show. I created it. I I was whatever you call yeah, it. it was all Patty. Mm -hmm. Made her administrator. Yep. Somebody kicked me off as administrator. Yeah. Did they keep me or we both kicked off? No, you're on. Oh, okay. But I'm uh -oh. not on. Oh. But um, we when you're the come. aunt that looks just like that, LA, well, you get privileges. I guess you do. <laughs> LA folks or uh, folks who are willing to come to LA this Friday night. Yeah. My earring is in her hair. It's right. going to be, uh, it's going to be our VIP tickets get a seance with us. Yeah. There's going to be a mediumship gallery. We're going to tell the story of Belle the Haunted Doll and also a little bit about how both Patty and I became people who live with the dead. And then we're going to do a mediumship gallery. We will read your haunted objects. You can get your photos taken with Belle the Haunted Doll and us. And then the VIP people stay and we do a little seance. Okay. How, how fantastic is that? Is this right now? Yes, it is. Right now is this, Facebook Live. Friday night is live, like, right, real live. At the Loft this Ensemble Theater, 13442 Ventura Boulevard, 730 Doors, 830 show. It, it, 730 Doors, 8 o'clock show. Yeah. 730, 8 o'clock. And um, we have a Facebook event page here. You can go and sign up or you can contact either of us. Um, Patty at pattynegri.com, mm -hmm. Sheena at IamRaisingYourVibration.com, and um, you can even, we'll even put in the thread today, we'll put our phone numbers, you can send us a text message, yeah. and we'll send you the Eventbrite link where you can order tickets, and um, it's going to be so much fun, and guess who's going to be there? The Troublemaker, Tro who's already off. broken Patty's ear and made the camera go in and out, and we were only on for 20 seconds. And it's just, because it's our first one, it's a super good deal, I have to tell you. You're getting the mediumship gallery for $40, which is cheap, because yeah. for what we cost an hour and all that, you're having yeah. two hours of us doing psychic work and mediumship work and talking. Yeah. And then the seance for VIP tickets is only another $35 for $75. Yeah. So for $35, you're getting a small, intimate seance, which would usually cost at least $50 if you're doing it with me. So it, yeah. it's, it's like bargain basement special because it's our first one out testing the girl. Exactly. And ah. you would get it for $50 if you did it with Patty. And I came along because I'm just the second chair medium bozo. Ah, nah. No, no, not? No. No, no, no. no. But I mean, do, I've been do, doing do, them for a no. long time. Patty, you're, that you're or definitely up. the queen yeah, of uh, uh, That are up. So this is a really good opportunity for those of you who haven't gone to a seance at all or a seance with me or Sheena. Or a seance with a right. hundred and fifty. It's like doing a seance doll. hosted by Harry Potter and Dobby the House Elf. And a haunted doll. Yeah. And a haunted doll. <laughs> That's, a <laughs> That's exactly what it's like. Yes. But but it's gonna be fun. And the loft is a beautiful, very warded theater in mm -hmm. Sherman Oaks. The energy is delicious. And um, many different exciting people in our lives are gonna be there, including my own um, embodied niece will be there. So for the first time the uh, bio, the the embodied niece. I want to say bi she's not my biological niece, but she is a biological entity. She's <laughs> in a human meat sack, and my spirit niece in the doll are going to meet. Yeah, for the first time, and maybe that's why your earring got ripped out of your and, head. And I know I was just going to say, and we promise we won't let Belle hit her. Yeah, exactly. No right. hitting ten year olds. <laughs> right. No, no pulling at the ten year old. No being terrible. Oh. But I kind of like it. Like first of all, my spirit niece is like sixty on the inside. But I kind of like the idea that if you're if you're a child who is inquisitive about if you're a psychic child who has gifts and wants to know more about the business and you know about what it's like to be a part of the psychic world um, and our business as psychics and what we do uh, not business like you know business but our daily business 
which sometimes <laughs> is dealing with very haunted things and lots of spirits. Mm. Yeah. Kind of a fun place to be. So. Yeah. And there's I've probably a lot of you notice there is a lot of paranormal stuff going on right now. I don't know what, why. Patty, why? It's, 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 I think what, it's a million eclipse? different things. I mean, that might be part of it, but it's Something more than that. Something to do with Saturn. Something to do with Saturn being too close to the sun. Um, I don't oh, know, but I'm exhausted. I am so busy with clearings yeah, and people too. kind of freaking out with things going on. So, so if you have some, excuse me, that was good. If you have uh, some haunted things or things that you wonder if they're haunted, yeah, don't worry them. if you brought it up and you go, I think it might be haunted. I'm not sure. It doesn't have to be a doll. It could be a statue of your cat. It could be a teddy bear. Honestly. Little animals get very, very haunted. Or just come. This is not really yeah. all about the haunted object. No, it's about anything you want it to be about. Yeah. Come and have questions about people that have passed that you love. Questions about where we go, what it's all about. I mean, to me, a psychic gallery and a mediumship gallery are basically the same thing because we'll do either thing. Yeah, and honestly, the way, not that you'll get a lot of time, but the way I work it, whatever amount of time, even if we fill up the theater, we will give everybody who wants to a chance to ask a question. Absolutely. Absolutely. Absolutely so, we will. So you yeah. won't get, like if you're at some more bigger famous mediums with right. 500 people in the right. audience, you're getting us now when we don't have 500 people in the audience. So everybody gets to ask a question if, yeah. they, if they want. No one's forced. And Belle will answer. No. <laughs> no Belle and the stage at the, at, the, at the loft is so great that, that every seat is good. Yeah. So you'll be able to see Belle really well from wherever you are. We were just there yesterday. Um, I did a gathering for my RaisingTheVibration.org movement. And uh, what fun that was. That was I mean, beautiful. Was great. Beautiful event. And um, we're going to do those monthly now. So our next one is uh, February 15th on a Friday night. A little uh, valentines -y kind of thing for, yeah. for people wanting a little spirituality for the Valentines. How about that? Yeah, how about you that? should come to one and learn how to raise your vibration a bit, Belle. What? Uh, oh, she oh, goes. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> But I didn't wee, put her wee, head down. Wee, wee, wee. I did turn her, but I didn't do the head. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hi, baby. <laughs> if you see our Instagram, if you're on our Instagrams, you can see the photo of us where Belle's eyes are all rolled up in her head, which randomly happened for no reason. So now when it happens, Patty and I take pictures where our, our eyes I, are rolled we, up. We roll our, our eyes up. So too. if you go to my Instagram, it's Instagram.com slash Sheena Metal. You can see this classic photo of the three of us. Yes. We're kind of, we're mocking Belle. I feel terrible yes. that we are, but we are. Yeah. We are, because but we love her. she does Absolutely. this new thing now where she eye rolls us. It's kind of like her, uh, well, it's not really her version of stink eye because she does that too. Mm -hmm. But she decides to eye roll us and then she eye rolls so hard that her eyes get stuck in the back of her head and then they don't Literally. come back down. And it's, oh. <laughs> Sorry. And it's it's really creepy Sorry. when her eyes are um, stuck, rolled up in the back of her head. Yes, it's, and it's, it's, it's so... a new thing she didn't used to do, now she does. It's on my Instagram, it's all, again, patty.negri, um, as well. Oh, it's so not good, you got it too on your Instagram? Yes. The eye roll face? Okay. Yeah, of course I do. Yeah, go to our Instagrams, go to our Facebook. Go to our Twitter, go to yes. our everything. Go to wearelivingwiththedead.com. Um, I just had something I was going to say, and it's gone from my head. She's being pretty good. For those of you who haven't been here with us before, though, or you don't know about Belle, um, she, uh, you can tell her facial changes. Her face really, this can't change, but you can tell her mood changes. We'll have, I'll have somebody walk into the house and like three people in a row go, she's angry, angry, angry. Then, then she changes her mood and three people go happy, happy, happy. You don't know. You can actually see. So you guys can see if her mood changes and her eyes do move besides the blinky doll thing. Um, yeah. I, we've got to move on camera a thousand times. So if yeah. you guys see anything, let us know. Lately, people have been point, point orbs and spirit things yeah. and all sorts Stuff of things. Stuff happening behind on. the window in the background. Um, There's all kinds of enchanted creatures that live in Patty's neighborhood. <laughs> yes. And they dance around outside the window sometimes while yeah, we're here. Yeah, we do that here. And that's a little strange. Uh, we, you, took, you put a picture up of us. I think it's the picture that has that's on the uh, Antiques Go Show event page. And there's some funky stuff happening on my shirt. Did you notice no, that? No, I didn't. Like on my shoulder, that. there's some odd light anomaly thing kind of coming down on my hair. And that's a bit disturbing. Yeah. But there's always stuff happening here. That's what it's like to live with the dead. There's always stuff <laughs> happening wherever you are. So I live in a place where there are like these very tall, skinny um, shadow creatures. And I first saw them, well, really the first day I bought my house in when I first moved in, uh, in March of 1991. And at different times in my life, I see them more and I see them less. I live in sort of a big townhome complex, 76 units. I only see them by the pool by my house or off to the side of where my front stoop is. So wherever they is, they're, 
they're whatever they're, they are, they're they're localized to that area. Thank God I never see them in my house. Or if they're in my house, I, they don't show themselves to me. And they're always outside. And one time I was putting Christmas presents into the back of a car, driving down to my mom's with a bunch of presents, and they literally shoved me into the hatchback and then made the gate randomly open because it's right by where the outside gate is. So I see these things all the time. And I and so lately, whatever's going on with the moon and stuff now, I have been seeing so many of them. Yeah, I think I've it's just... seeing them again, everywhere. The shift is coming. The veil is raising. It's just going to happen all, more Y'all they they come. And, They're all coming. And we don't want to scare you. It's not all bad, all the spirits. Oh. Like, she doesn't want spirits in her house, and she's real protective. And so long as they're good, I invite spirits into my house. Again, I'm, I really, I know what I'm doing. I'm really good at what I'm doing, so we're not going to get any demonic, weird, dark, crankety things in right. here. Um, so but I, it's kind of fun. <laughs> and I like, I like spirits in Patty's house, and I have no problem with spirits, and I know how to make them go away. But I grew up in a very active, very terrible haunted house. So I don't want them where I am. I don't want to have to be constantly moving spirits in and out and assessing them in a place where I sleep because that brings up all kinds of like paranormal survivor PTSD and I just, I just don't want to deal with it. So, I mean, I have a, a pair of uh, very active um, divination rods and I won't even take them in the house. Since really? the day I got them as a gift, wow. I was at a friend's house. She was having us all try different things she bought. She put the rods in my hand. They started spinning and she said, they have never moved for me. They're yours. She gave them to me in a Ziploc bag, and they are still in the trunk of my car in a Ziploc bag. Um, now they're in the trunk of my car in my spirit bag in a Ziploc bag. Um, so, so I won't take them. I won't take them in my house. So now we'll just see you like in Ralph's grocery store using your divination rods, exactly. the gas trying station, to find the sales, the dry Where are the sales? She won't Where are take the them sales? <laughs> yeah, I will well, not take them in my house. But you know, you're the magic, not the rods. I know, mm, but okay. the rods are the conduit. And you saw, we did a seance recently um, with some friends in Burbank, mm -hmm. and you saw what happens with me and the rods. Yeah. And that weren't even my rods, those were your rods. Yeah. These rods love me and wanted to come home with me, and I don't want them to draw things into the house. Yeah. I mean, that's a question, right? Right. Because it, it's like, it's an amplifier. It's an amplifier. It's a door. It's like a portal, like working with Ouija boards, working with pendulums, working yes. with tarot cards. Um, I don't do those in my house either, because I got a pen, I have a whole bunch of pendulums people give me as gifts, and I collect pendulums. Um, so, because I love them. So I pulled this new pendulum out. Somebody had given me was a copper one and I just casually was talking to myself and the thing started spinning and I said, Oh, do I have somebody on the line? And the thing started spinning and I had been talking about my mom and I said, is that you mom? And the thing started spinning. I'm like, but that's not mom. Cause she would tell me if it was her mm -hmm. and I thought, I don't know what this is, but I don't like it. So I don't do I don't do pendulums in the house. I have a pendulum in my car that I carry. I have a tight one. Carry she has a very haunted car. No, I keep everything in the trunk of my car now, and I've just bought this groovy book bag, to put, a backpack to put everything she's in. She's getting there high. She, oh. I know she's she's she's, she's she's growing she's wiggly high. Today. Yeah, she's wiggly today. So I here's can't. the thing with rods and boards and pendulums and things that Patty was talking about. Look, I would never tell you not to swim in the ocean because they're sharks, but I would tell you not to swim in the ocean if you were bleeding from your leg because there are sharks. So if you are somebody who tends to attract spirits, you might not want to put a spirit amplifier in your place if you don't know how to ward and protect your place and you don't know how to get things out. Right. And that's the thing. You do need to learn what you're doing. What I say even about a Ouija board or any of this stuff, it's like a gun. You have to know how to use it. Yeah. Because... Uh, I've had the same Ouija board since I was a little kid. Oh. Bell, Bell's age. Well, younger than that because she's 103. Um, and I have, <laughs> I have a dozen of them now. And I've never invited anything dark. Even when I take it on ghost adventures or something yeah. where we go into very, very dark places. And I'll work in, into demonic or I'll work into really dark, crankety spirits. I, I don't, they don't come home with me. So you have to be, set your intent. This is our realm of existence. Yes. So as she gets braver, and she's getting braver every day, Aww. um, soon Thank enough, you, she will Mama. be able to bring those things into your house and know yeah. what's allowed in or not. Who do you let in your front door? You don't just let oh, anybody goodness. in your front door. You speak, only good spirits, only friends, only family members, only those who respect me don't lie to me. And things well, like but that. you know what? Friends and family members already come in my house. My mom's in there all the time. Friends have come to visit. But they don't have to come in through rods or a Ouija board. You know what I mean? If you know how to get in through me, then come. But if you need, if you're just something hanging around waiting for me to to pull out the planchette so you can go woohoo and slide into my house, no. 
I don't even like, I want to disable my doorbell. I don't even want people to ring my door that are alive. Send them over to my house. Yeah, Patty lets everybody come over. <laughs> I do. Everybody lives come here on, at Patty's. Let's have a party. But good people. Good I'm dinner. like Prince. I talk to no one for three years, then I have a new album. Yeah. That's like, you know, I'm so social in my life and a little bit of a, a solitary person at home. It's the only space I have that's just mine. That makes sense. That makes sense. Um, I'm actually sort of like that with my downstairs versus my upstairs. There is a tiny hand. And it is grabbing my shoulder. <laughs> it's like... And my hands are I'm large, so it's not me. Comfortably grabbing me. Yeah. That's so interesting. And now she's getting a little side grin. Ah. Are you grabbing me, Belle? Are you being funny? <laughs> uh, Susie, I don't work with Demonic, but uh, on a TV show I work a lot called Ghost Adventures on yeah. the Travel Channel, they love it's Demonic. It's a great show. Yes, they do. <laughs> they, uh, does Zach Pagans, who's the executive producer, the lead, the star of the show... He likes to dance with the devil. He's a good man. He's a good, positive, light-working yeah. man. But he likes to dance with the devil. He does like a demon. Mm -hmm. He does like to find negative spirits in a place. Yes, he does. Okay. Yeah. And that's okay. It's we fun. Like I see, I love it because I, I'm confident in what I do. So yeah. to me, it's like kind of like going to the on a roller coaster. Yeah. Because I, I know I'm really not going to fall off the roller coaster. And, and I'd go anywhere with you because I trust everything yeah. you do. Aww. So if you're involved, the answer is yes. Always, just because I love you. Thanks. But even if it's something that scares the crap out of me, the answer is yes if Patty's there. Thank you. Because you do know a lot more what you're doing and I am sort of learning. I actually fessed up at this thing yesterday that I'm like a baby witch and... Mm. And that Patty's mentoring me, and that's something I never thought I would really tell a lot of people out loud, and now yeah. I tell everybody. See? You gotta be you. You have to be organically you. And that's part of the thing, really, is that if you don't want to, one of the great ways you can not draw negative spirits in is you have to have a clean vessel. And that doesn't just mean that you should eat clean, which you should, but it also means you should live clean, which means you should live with good intent. You should try not to hold a lot of negative stuff in. Don't live with a lot of resentments in your life. Don't live with a lot of anger. Um, don't hold grudges. All of these things sort of lower your vibration to the point where pestery spirits can kind of bug right. with you. Don't lie to yourself. Be true to yourself about who you are. Be open and honest with yourself about who you are. If you don't ever want to tell anybody else, that's fine. I have chosen now to tell everybody because I feel people learn from my lessons yeah. um, and, and from me being honest. But that's, I think that's another way that you keep darkness away from you is that you just become an honest, pure vessel yeah. that's telling your true story. And then the, the spirits that are going to resonate with you are going to be good intention spirits at that point. And not not bad spirits. They may be a little mischievous, like Miss Bell. Yeah, she is but mischievous. She's not a she bad not girl. Dark. She's, she's not. just a naughty girl sometimes. Look at all these beautiful witches stepping in here. Hi, all these beautiful witches. Hi, beautiful witches. Um, <laughs> Anita, Elizabeth, yes, go play, go feed Adis. <laughs> um, what we, oh, somebody asked what more about what I do, what we do. I don't know what that question was. So we missed it, so we'll have to get it next time. Or, or right, right. What we up. do, like as spiritual people? As spiritual people? Yeah, I don't know. That. Um, yeah. Um, I am professionally, this is what I do for a, prof I had, I had a production company where I produced shows, live shows. I don't have time to do that anymore because I am a full-time psychic medium and witch, um, more hours than I can even handle as a role. Um, and I love every second of it and I'm doing good work. I'm doing light work. Beautiful. And so I do private sessions with people here at the house. I do lots of office and house clearings. I do lots of seances and then my TV stuff, which is always fun because talk about a big stage to do it. Yeah, it's fantastic. And the show I do the most, though I do a lot lately, is Ghost Adventures on the Travel Channel, Saturdays at 9 p.m. I'm not on every week by any means, um, but enough that you see me. <laughs> That's awesome. And you, Miss Sheena? And I uh, split my entertainment life and my spiritual life. Um, so I'm, I am a full part-time a uh, psychic medium, a uh, spiritual counselor, healer, and um, uh, I do vibrational uplift sessions. I'm the founder of a peace, love, kindness, unity movement, raisingthevibration.org. So I work um, through that, uh, teaching workshops and and helping people one-on-one -on -one in private sessions for how to lift and raise their vibration. Um, but then I also work as a psychic medium doing just about everything. I work in the paranormal world. I belong to three or four um, paranormal groups. Um, Los Angeles Paranormal Association. I run the West Coast chapter for Paranormal Research and Resource Society. That's the um, the group that was on Animal Planets, the Haunted with the Ghost Box Prophecies episode. I run their their West Coast branch. 
Um, I am a found, the founder of Surf City Paranormal. We're getting that rolling right now. I grew up in Huntington Beach in Surf City, and it's so haunted, so haunted there. Um, so I work with a lot of different paranormal groups. I do investigations. I speak as a paranormal survivor because I've survived an awful haunted house. And then I'm also a, a full-time talk radio host. So I do that too. And some of my shows are spiritual and paranormal and some are just, just entertainment and fun. And I, I, cause I think that, cause you're an artist as well, Patty, that the same channel that you use for your yeah. spirit work is the same channel that you use for art. For all the So to yes, open the yes. channel up is what's easy for us. How we use it is just where we're being called by the universe in service at the time. Yeah, yeah. No, we're both actors. We both yep. grew up in the, in the entertainment field. Again, uh-huh. I'm a producer. Uh-huh. But I you're the producer. We're both producers. So, But this is what where we've been called. <laughs> and this is where so much... You know, they say one door closes and another door opens. Yeah. And for me, as a door closes in my life, six doors open in the spiritual world. Yeah. I, I'm also the uh, co-founder of the new Paranormal Institute and College. And we're going to do our first event um, out in the the Inland Empire in at the end of March. Cool. And it's going to be like an all-day seminar. And I'm going to be speaking. And we're going to be doing stuff and seances and fun stuff. So, um, you know, we both have so much going on. We, we work and travel together all the time. Yep. And Grant, and I'm grounded. And somebody's getting cranky. cranky. And now we take care of this thing. Yeah, because she's. She, we have to talk she about. She look how her again. face goes white. I know. We her have face to talk goes about white. Her again. We stop she's talking like, about her. Did you all see that? Did you all Did see you her see? face go white? I'm like, okay, 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 okay. We got to shut up. It's enough about us. She doesn't yeah. care about. Us. And um, any info that you want on us, um, I'm at IamRaisingYourVibration.com or SheenaMetalSpiritual.com. Um, my email is Sheena and I am raising your vibration.com. If you want to know about Friday's event, I'll send you any info you want. Patty, how can people contact you? PattyNegri.com, P-A-T-T-I-N-E-G-R-I.com. Also, all those names on Instagram, Twitter, yep. Facebook, and all that. So we're going in and out again. Um, okay, we'll talk about you, Jill. She hasn't so, realized yet that this no light is about her. This whole thing is about you. Trust so. me, once she goes to one of these, then it'll she be will. like every day. When can we do Antiques Go Show again? When can we do Antiques Go Show again? Mommy and Aunt Sheena, when can we do this again? Maybe, when can we do this maybe again? Maybe we need to, to change the thing to Bell's Antique Go Show. Every, with Sheena and Beth. Every graphic. I made a graphic. It doesn't even have our names I know, on it's, it. It's her. I probably should have put our names on it. Maybe I will now. It doesn't even have our names. All it says is meet Belle the Haunted Doll on January 18th. The whole thing is about Belle. Yeah. And for those who wonder where she came from, because there's a lot of first-time people there, yep. Belle was actually sent to me a little over a year now, not quite a year and a half, a girl in Belgium, her name is Beautiful Girl, Chelsea Elizabeth. Hi, Chelsea. She usually um, watches later. Yeah, she's she watches now. later because she's in the UK or Belgium. Um, she, I think, saw me on Ghost Adventures with Peggy the Haunted Doll, a Uh-oh. much darker haunted doll, doing a seance on Ghost Adventures or Deadly Possessions or both, I think. Um, and she had this. She had Belle for like three years and she made her sick. She made all her hair fall out. She made her and her daughter sick. And then, so unless Belle was in the shed or a drawer, which Belle didn't like, she was sick. So she saw me and asked if she could send her to me. And she did. Um, and it's it's been a whole ride ever since. She was very dark. She had a dark spirit. The day she came, there was not just a sweet little mischievous girl that's in Belle now. There was a very, very dark entity in Belle. And got her out that very first day with a friend of another psychic medium friend, Shauna Grace, right around the corner. So we literally, got she's right around the corner. Literally, three do- three doors down, because that's what we do. She's the neighborhood psychic. Yeah, the neighborhood psychic. So we got we got that dark spirit out, and but Bill still drew energy for a while. So I had to carry, I had to keep herbs with her, root herbs and all sorts of sigils and symbols on her, or holding them for her to keep her. But now she doesn't draw energy so much, and negatively. Unless you're not giving her attention. <laughs> and then she grabs your shoulder and punctures it with her tiny hand. And, and breaks your earring. Move. She broke it. She and broke the, it. The wire is still in her hair. Yeah. <laughs> I just bought oh, a bell. That's what we're going to put you. That's what we're going to call the story <laughs> of you, the book. The wire got stuck in her hair. The wire got One stuck doll's in her hair. story. Yeah. Um, somebody put, asked earlier, was it Susie did ask, uh, what or how do you think of God as a spirit? That's an intense question. Yeah. Okay. We can answer that. Uh, well, to me, everything is in it. I'll, we can all answer it because we all might, every single person might have an a- absolutely yeah. different Please. answer. And I think that's how it should be. Uh, how, the way I work it, to me, everything is energy. Everything is energy. Um, so, so same thing would be of deity, of God, whatever term you want to use, universe, great consciousness, 
God's plural, God's singular. Um, I take everything down to the level of energy, and that's just the highest of vibrations yeah. of energy yeah. to me. Again, without words, I don't use a lot of words for that. Kelly doesn't use her words, her big girl words usually. She just, no, I, just feels. I feel the same way. I feel that God is a, or the universe, whatever you want to call, is a, is a, a highly evolved force of collective energy that no longer requires being embodied and now helps others to learn because when we get to the point where we've learned enough that we no longer have to be in bodies after lifetime after lifetime, then we can become part of the universe of the force of collective energy and then help to bring other souls up to do the same. So that's cool. Yeah. And I like hanging here. <laughs> Me too. I just keep coming yeah. back. Just keep coming back and I like it and I think I'll come back up again. And down and I love around. it here. I'll just keep coming. So as long but, as you'll have me. But this could be a three-day conversation, sure. whoever asked about that. But what a great question, though. It, it's a great question, and we want your questions. You, you know, send us stuff later, send us stuff now. Uh, that made me think, I ended up a call 911. What what episode? Yeah. I don't know what and episode. And when you come to Antiques Go Show on Friday, you can ask us questions like that. We're happy to answer any questions any about questions. what we do, who we are, how we got into it. We'll tell you a little bit of both our backgrounds. Um, we'll talk a little bit about how we met Belle and the story of Belle. So it'll be the story of us, the story of Belle. But if you want to tell the story of you and ask questions, we're happy to listen to that. I mean, yeah. we love that. We wanted you to feel like you're here with friends and, and uh, you know, and of course we didn't avoid the questions. We don't we, avoid anything. We don't avoid questions. Don't you can avoid. ask us anything. We, have we jump in full force. Exactly. I do want to say, though, that when Patty was answering your question, Susie, there was something out the window, not this way, but that way, beyond oh. the back of the camera. And it came down from the top of the French doors, and it just kind of, and then it went back up, and it was gone. And I peed my pants a little bit. Just a little bit. She's a, <laughs> a little bit. Isn't it weird, though, that I've always worked in this community Yet, there's parts of it that freak me out a little yeah. bit. Because you must I, like to get freaked out. No, I, it's, for me, it's therapy. I like to get freaked out when it's like, I love to watch horror movies. Like, I love to watch The Conjuring. That's how I like to get freaked out. When it's real life stuff and I'm actually in it, it's very therapeutic for me to sort of work through it. Because I literally did grow up in a, get out kind of house. I mean, really awful house. Right. Where stuff, you never felt safe. Stuff was always flying across the room. You were always tripping on something. And, and I have a little something, something in my kitchen now. And I don't like to talk about it because I don't want to make it worse. But in the yeah. middle of the night. If you want it out, we can get it out. You can get it out. We can get it out. In the middle of the night, things fly across my kitchen. And I know they're not just, it's not like a Tupperware dish that fell off the counter. Because it's like eight feet away. That's yeah. a big fall for That's a Tupperware a dish to take. Yeah. And I know there's something down there. Spirits are mischievous. They could be yeah. Faye. They could be a lot of things. Uh, Sheila, you asked, oh, you, that you were talking about the Halloween episode. Yeah, not last year's, which was not live. This live year, that was insane. Uh, going back to Ghost Adventures, yeah, I did the show. Halloween four-hour live special, which was about the insanest thing in the world. You guys, unfortunately, it, that show doesn't work as good live because you, there was no finish to everything. You guys didn't get to see the great EVPs Gary Galgauer or Chris Fleming were getting. You, as, far, as far as TV is concerned, I'm still locked in the basement with Lady Snake, of which I'm obviously not. Because Thank God. Goes, and because ghosts do not know, let's break for commercial. All the good stuff happened when they were broke for commercial and there was nothing they could do. They wouldn't yeah. flip back. So it was really hard, but that place had never been thicker. I've been to the museum a lot. Usually locked in something and in the dark. Oh, I've goodness. actually once went as a regular person, and it's it's fabulous. Anybody goes to Vegas and likes this sort of thing. Do you and mind if, being locked in places? No. Okay. That, the locked in is hard for me. Yeah. I, I mean, mind the scary. I mean, I don't think I'd ever be really locked in like he'll do to Aaron, like really lock him in and you can't get out. Yeah. But, you know, when I was in the gypsy thing, they brought me in the dark in the museum. I didn't know who, not this year's Halloween special, but last year's Halloween special. Everything sequestered. I didn't know who was there. He locked me in a gypsy wagon. He said, tell me what's going on here. And I didn't know anybody. And I'm saying what's one Bloody Mary from New Orleans, now a dear friend. She was doing some doll magic. Father Sebastian, yeah, now a dear great. friend, was doing vampire mirror yeah, work. Um, a lady snake, my first encounter with her was right. bringing up there. the spirit of Ed Gain and the, the serial killer who eats people. In around his cauldron. Do so. we need to bring Ed Gain back for any reason? Not really. It's Not really. And what, but what she brought this year was even worse. So, ah, 
Yeah. No, but again, we didn't go there on the TV show, but Sheila, you were right. It was insane. If we all looked really weird and Zach looked really weird and everybody was, it's because we were. It was like walking through soup. Um, there was these little spirit animals flying everywhere I, I've never seen before. I saw them walk by the... Anyway. It's interesting how people react when you start talking about Lady Snake. She's like the, um, you know, you're like the hero in pro wrestling and she's like the heel. <laughs> yeah. People hear her name and they're like, boo. Yeah, boo. I like know. an old melodrama. Boo, Lady Maybe Snake. We'll do that sometime. We'll go into a big arena. Exactly. A good witch and a bad And in this <laughs> corner, weighing four cauldrons, <laughs> Patty Negri. <laughs> Um, yeah, and that's the thing that's interesting, right? Is that everybody... Take off the cloak like it's a robe, like a wrestler. Exactly. You have little, like, a little satin witch pants yeah, yeah. on underneath. Ah. And you can dance around. I could be in your corner like Burgess go, Meredith yeah, and yeah, Roxy. Yeah, yeah. Come on, you can Patty. Pat me Do down. it for the uh, light, uh, baby. Yeah. yeah. Here's, a, here's some sage. Here's some... <laughs> you can get them. You can get them. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Here's some... Whole, you, come on. You rinse with the holy water and spit in the cup. Uh, oh, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> <laughs> Don't uh. think we're not going to do it. Because when Patty and I come up with an idea here, sometimes it gets done. Sometimes it That's gets done. That's how this started. That's how this started. Really, this just started between the, the three of us. I'm sorry, Bella. If we put you to sleep, we, we have stories about us. I think they us. put her to sleep. She's like, God, you guys are so boring. Come on out. Say hi, one. Bella. Come on out and say hi to people. And by see what you think, think Bill's thinking. There we go. Here we go. Here we are. Hi, everybody. Oh, my face just got so big, Belle. Yeah. My goodness, my face. Do not think big. those two look alike. Mm -hmm. The exact same color skin. I don't know if you could tell. Here, I look slightly. like her now. Exact same skin. Exact same face shape. Ha same hair color. More than you could even see there. Am I looking like her? You're looking like her. So yeah, you, everything. She doesn't is... think that's very funny. I know. I'm yeah. funny. I'm sorry. We've never taken her out. This is. Have you ever taken her anywhere, Penny? No. No. Has she ever left the house? Uh, no, not really. No, not since she's been here. She's it's a little that, scary. It's probably why she's a little nervous about it. I don't blame her. It's not going to be scary though, sweetie. It's, it's going to be so be much scary. fun, and you're, you're going to love it. Love the theater. And you you're get to do a seance. You're going to get headshots, and you're going to want to oh, get on LA casting. Yes, yes. Get the breakdown. That every would day. be funny. Can you imagine signing up a show. doll? Yeah. Why should we want to get? Yeah. It's, it's, she's yeah. a real doll. Yeah. Literally. You could be a mommy, uh, mommy manager witch. Yes. You know, I mean, my, my child and then go to auditions, right? My child's beautiful. Yeah, I think she's. I think she's a natural. Yeah. It's fantastic. Um, <laughs> but she's never been out. She's gonna no, love it. She's I gonna go she's out. Gonna love it. So any of you in LA or willing to get to LA, Sherman Oaks, right off the Sherman 101 Oaks. freeway, one three four four two Ventura Boulevard, the Loft Ensemble Theater. It's right across the street from the Psychic Eye Bookshop. People, right? right. So there's. Spirits everywhere. Right. So come get crystals come, and then come over. Super deal. You'll get psychic information. You'll get medium information. You can get a seance. You'll have a haunted doll. We have bears. The bears These will be Bell's there. Bears. Frederick and Boo Bear, the yeah. stars of Bell's life, will be there. Right. And Boo Bear is an EMF bear, so we'll turn it on because we never do here. Because and Frederick we don't look is at a haunted it. Victorian bear yeah. that knew Bell in real life. Yes. So. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you. Have a beautiful night or day or whatever yes. it is where you are. We are living with the dead.com, antiquesgoshow.com. I am at sheenametalspiritual.com and I am raising your vibration.com. Patty's at pattynegri.com. Mm -hmm. Pattynegri.com and Facebook, Patty Negri. You yes. can't friend me, but you can follow me and you can like me at Patty Negri Psychic Medium and please do. And please also on Twitter and and Instagram. So it's, it's and you can friend me and if the page is, face is pull, full, then, oh, hello, blah, blah, blah. You can friend me and if the page is full, then you can friend one of my other friends who are also named Sheena. And they look just like her. They don't have the same name, but they're all named Sheena. She sneaks around Facebook so yeah, well. I do. She's trying to get me to another page. I can hardly handle the little bit I have. I don't even know how I blew up the event page. So please, Antiques Go Show is our event page where yes. you can get to Eventbrite and buy tickets. Yes. It's the deal of the century. It is. It's and, a great gig, and we, we can't wait to meet you. We're so excited to meet you. And we want to take this everywhere. Yeah. So if you have a place that you want us to take this to, somewhere in the country, somewhere out of the country, help us set it up, and we will come to you, and we will bring the kid. 
And it'll be so much fun, and we'll hang out with you, and we'll get to have a, a really spooky old time. So right. uh, mm-hmm. come and find us, and we'll be back in a couple of weeks with another yep. episode of Living with the Dead. Go to wearelivingwiththedead.com and go to YouTube, my YouTube, youtube.com slash Sheena Metal, and all the old episodes are there, even the outtakes with descriptions and information on the episodes. Uh, go there and enjoy all of that, and She's we love so good. you. Oh, yeah, no, I'm just, you, just a little OCT and evil. No, thank God. Because somebody's you know, got to I'm a gatherer. I'm, like, I'm the one who, you know, fucks up. I get, me. <laughs> fucks up the event page. I fuck up things too. Ah, We're going to fix everything right now. Just, we love you presence. and we'll see Bad you. Uh, we love you and we'll see you on Friday at Antiques Go Show, the very first one. You want to say you were at the first one. Contact us, email us, book sessions with us. We love you guys. Thank you so much for Bye. being here. We Thanks appreciate for the question, you. Sheila. Thank you, everybody who Thanks I know everybody. and love out there. Bye. We love you. Uh-oh. Bell's grumpy.